Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am deviating again from hair um, and focusing on beauty. So what I have for you today is Via Maquillage New York Foundation. Felt very bougie saying that. advertised I think on Instagram and it was like oh just take an online quiz and it matches you perfectly so I was like okay I mean you get to use it for two weeks free you only pay the shipping um and then after the two weeks you're up you pay the full price however given all this quarantine stuff um they gave me extra time so I think I have it for like an additional two weeks anyway I just wanted to try it out and compare it to um, what I'm using now. So right now I actually use the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Before this I was using Fenty Beauty, um, the shade 360. Um, I kind of vacillate between 360 and 370. Um, for this one I'm Caramel. So now this is another foundation, my Maybelline Fit Me in 322 Warm Honey that I haven't used in a while but I just wanted to kind of compare like how these appear on my hand with the new one and how um, the new one looks on my skin tone. So I think I'm going to start. Well. So yes, you saw the box. Uh, what's inside? So I'll try to not tip everything over. <laughs> so I guess this is the foundation. And they asked me questions about like undertones and Am I neutral? Am I tan? Sorry, that's undertones. Am I tan? Am I light? Am I, you know, darker skin? Am I fair skin? All that stuff. You answer to the best of your abilities um, and then they match you up. And so they gave me, I think this is the shade, woke up like this. Um, flawless base foundation. Okay. So here's a little box and um, there it is, the maquillage. Okay. So yeah, confetti in here. Um, they give you like just the rundown of how it works and then they, oh, they show you like tips on how to, um, do a shade match like in store. Okay. So let's first compare them in size. So the maquillage is probably one ounce. Yep. One ounce and born this way is also one ounce, probably the same for Maybelline. Yes. One ounce. Um, I have to double check the prices on these. I'm just going to go ahead and insert the prices either down below or in the video just as a comparison. Now, um, one thing I liked about Born This Way that I liked more than Fenty was that it did appear uh, much more natural. Like it really did look like, oh, I was just born this way. Like this is my skin. Um, but it does still look like makeup. Sorry, there's something on my face. Um, now, what I think... I'm getting from the advertisements for this is that it's like a second skin it's supernatural um you know you don't even know you're wearing it it's super lightweight so with that being the case I don't expect it to be super full coverage um but we're just gonna see what happens now I do have some skin situations going on I have the weirdest breakouts they're never like super like in your face but they're so persistent it's like, I don't even know if I would call this a breakout. It's just a lot of texture. Anyway, my skin's a little dry now, so I'm just going to start like I normally would um, with my e.l.f. Um, primer. But I'm going to then follow it with this Garnier Skin Active Moisturizer because it's like super duper dry. So I feel nice and moisturized. Um... Now it's time for the foundation. Hmm. I was supposed to show it to you on my hand, wasn't I? Okay. So here's my born this way. I'm gonna put that here. Like the smallest bit. Okay. 
Then in the middle, I'm going to put Maybelline Warm Honey. I actually haven't worn this Maybelline one in a hot second, so I think it's still pretty close to my skin tone. Yeah, it's pretty close. And now the last one is going to be the Il Maquillage. Oh, that's way too much to just use for this. Okay. So they definitely differ in hue, <laughs> for sure. Born This Way, Maybelline, Il Maquillage. Maybelline matches my hand most perfectly, but you know you can't go off of that. The two on the ends are definitely more yellow. So I guess that's a good thing. I don't know. Okay, now we're ready to put on my face, I guess. Okay. So I'm going, ugh, I put two pumps. I never use two pumps. I'm a very light foundation wearer, honestly. I do not wear a whole lot of foundation. Um, I very rarely go for the full coverage look honestly okay okay let's see how it does with this redness i have over here yeah so this definitely from looking at it doesn't look like it would fare well on my forehead which is fine that's not a bad thing because none of my foundations do really um okay so that was two pumps of product um, and you definitely wouldn't be able to tell at all. So maybe the whole idea of it feeling like a second skin is definitely true. It's super lightweight. Um, yeah, this is for like when you don't want to look like you have on makeup, I think. But I'm curious to see if it is buildable. So I'm going to go ahead and do a third and a fourth pump, which I never do. So that's a reference point. I don't think I needed the fourth pump, but we'll see. Okay, so I am going to do like I said and steer clear of my forehead. I just can tell this is not suited for my forehead, which is weird because my forehead is so brown, but it doesn't match my scalp. It's weird. <laughs> okay, so this definitely does not look like I have done four pumps of foundation. So I guess that's kind of a good thing. It looks slightly yellow. And you're probably thinking, girl, that's why you should have put it on your forehead. But like with my Born This Way, I don't need to put it on my forehead and my whole face matches. So that's a point of contrast is that this is definitely suited for this part of my face, but it doesn't blend well. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to put like a whole lot of foundation on my forehead. I'm just going to take like the additional that was already on the sponge and just kind of blot it up there just to get a slightly more uniform look. Let's see. I will say I already look pretty dewy. Like I look like I have on highlight. I have nothing on. So that's kind of cute, I guess. Uh -oh. What's going on with my camera? Oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. Alright, I'm not going to put any more makeup on my face because I just don't like to have a lot on my face. I will say it doesn't feel like a lot. It doesn't at all. 
but just having more on my face I just I'm not a fan of so if that's something that concerns you that would be something to think about um when considering this foundation but we're just going to keep it moving this is I'm a savage yeah. classy bougie uh. ratchet yeah. sassy moody hey. nasty hey. Yeah. Stupid. Here we are with the finished look. Um, I really wanted to do something with my hair, but I'm literally about to wash it, you know, just to give y'all that wow factor. Um, but I just decided I wasn't going to, but I really like how this turned out. Um, I wasn't sure at first when I didn't have the full look going. It looked like it just didn't quite match, but now I do really like it. Um, I think it looks gorgeous um, compared to the other foundations that I have used before. Um, it's lighter weight for sure, but it's also lighter coverage. So that's just something that you need to be aware of if you are going to use it. Um, but they did match my skin tone really well online. Now part of that might have been that I already knew the answers to some of those questions. Like when they asked me my skin tone, if I were just a first time person trying to figure out what I need, I would not have picked tan because the girl in the picture looked darker than I perceived myself to be but someone at Sephora had already told me that I'm a tan skin tone so I knew that already um but it you know it still did really 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 well to have only done an online quiz um and this definitely just looks like my skin tone so I'm really happy <laughs> I would 10 out of 10 recommend if you're looking for something lightweight and light coverage that's the key I mean so um I really like it I do let me know what you guys think down below thank you so much for watching and let me know what other content you guys would like to see